It's July 14th, 2023, and this is the second time I'm making this video because I just pushed the wrong dang button on my phone and deleted the first one halfway through. So this is Button Bush. I don't remember the scientific name. It's long. It starts with a C. This is native to North America. This video is just going to not be very excited because I just made it. The, there's no open flowers left because I am too late to make this video. But all of these circular things that are still on the plant are the seed pods. The flowers, when they are open, they are spheres like this. And out of the center of each of these little things, there was a little white tube flower with a little thing sticking out of the end. And I had COVID-19, so I lost most of my sense of smell. So I can very, very faintly sell, smell a sweet flowery smell if I stick my nose literally right on top of the flower. If you didn't have long COVID and you're not an osmic, you can probably smell them from further away. These leaves, the ones on this plant tend to be whirled, although these, this branch right here has them opposite, which is how the wild one is that I found. That means the leaves are directly across from each other on the stem in pairs. Most of them on this plant are whirled, which means three leaves are at each node, forming a little triangle. So both of those are options for this species. But the leaves have smooth edges. They're kind of generic looking, especially when they're just normal and opposite. And blending in with a lot of stuff like the wild one is. This plant stretches from here on the sidewalk to this giant sidewalk block. Here's that. There's my cart for scale. So, really big. We're still walking and then it ends over here and then sideways it's like from there to there so it, this is a really big one I think it might be multiple plants because there's like one cluster of stems there's another one and there's some more growing back there too but I think this is multiple plants I'm not sure though oh and there is one flower do I want to walk through here? All right, I'll do it for you guys. Very carefully. There's one last, hello, toad. Look at that toad, it's gonna hop again. Yep, there it goes. So here's one last flower that is open probably for the whole year. Oh, camera, come on. So you can see that the white little tuby flowers with whatever you call that sticky thing that sticks out. I don't really want to bend over far enough to sniff this, but I, I assume it smells good if I stuck my nose right on top. If you were standing here, you could probably smell it from here. Come on. The flower is about... Oh. And there's, no, actually, there will be another flower beneath it. Come on, camera. Cause that's a flower bud right below it. Come on. So, yeah. It's a really loud plane. The toad is hopping around. plane is going to show up as loud as it just was on the video. But anyways, if I forgot to mention it in this video so far, these plants love water so they like to grow in places with lots of water in the soil so you can find them growing along the side of creeks, near rivers, anywhere that water pools when it rains, stuff like that. I assume these ones were planted because yeah, so there's like one cluster, another cluster. I've only found one wild one, so I don't know if this is just how they spread naturally or if these were like seven different plants grown here. But 
yeah, I think I covered all the bases for this. So, some point later in the year, I will come back and see if there's any seeds to collect from these, and I'll show you how to collect seeds, and we'll figure it out together, I guess. That's it. Bye-bye.